Hi, I'm JD, and what we're going to be doing today is some compound inequalities. We're going to be solving them and writing the solutions in integral notation. So I put two problems on the board, so let me read each one to you. Uh, the first problem is x less than 4 or x less than 5. And the second problem is this, x greater than or equal to negative 4 and x is less than or equal to negative 2. So if you would, pause the video and see if you can try this one or no. Alright, to solve these, the easiest method is to see it visually and then reason, okay, how am I going to set up the interval? That's, that's it. So first, draw your number line. So you have 0 and then you have 4 and 5. Now, draw each one separately. So this is x less than 4, so that's starting at 4, and it's everything less than it. So it's going to go that way. And I'm using an open circle because there's no or equal to here. So 4 is not included. Next, now I'm going to draw it probably a little above, so that it'll be above this line, so I'm not um, overlapping in any way so I can see each of them separately. X is less than 5. So I start at 5, open circle, and it's less than. Now, as far as an OR statement is concerned, it's a union. So with a union, it's everything. Right? Visually speaking, with two Venn diagrams, it's everything. So it's either where both of them are true or just one of them is true. Like for example, uh, 4.5 doesn't fall on this line, sorry, this ray, but it falls on this ray. So 4.5 would be a solution because it's an OR statement. So it would be 0, and 0 falls on both. So it's going to be everything. So it's going to be from 5 and over to negative infinity. And when you write it in a notation, it's always left to right. So you're going to start at negative infinity, and it's going to stop at a positive 5. And it's going to be a parenthesis because it's the 5 is not included. All right, let's look at the second problem. The second problem is an AND statement. So first do your number line, you have 0, and then you're going to have negative 2, and then negative 4. Do one at a time, graphs. So this is x greater than or equal to negative 4. So that's greater than, close circle, it's going that way. And the other one is x less than or equal to negative 2. And it's less than, so it's going to go this direction. Now, with an AND statement, both of them must be true. So your solutions have to, your solutions are going to fall on both. So your solutions are the overlap. And to show it visually using Venn diagrams, it's going to look something like that. So it's the overlap where both of them are going to be true. So it's going to be from negative 4 to negative 2. And it's going to include, so that means it's going to be a bracket. So negative 4 to negative 2. And that's it.